zone is sectioned off, sir. Please step back. Agent Norman Jaden, FBI. You got a badge or something, Mr. Jaden? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Check. You can pass. I'm looking for Lieutenant Blake. Is he around? I saw him arrive earlier. He's here somewhere. Thanks. God, my hands are trembling. I gotta keep my act together. At least for now. Video memo recording, Agent 47023, Nam and Jaden, Tuesday, October 4th, 2011. Time is 8.14 a.m. I'm looking for Lieutenant Carter Blake. Thanks. Lieutenant Blake, I'm Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI. I went by your office this morning, they told me to be here. Now if you're looking for rain, dead bodies, and highways, you come to the right place. Mike, will you tell that asshole with the bulldozer to stop for five minutes? I can't hear myself, thank you. Right away, Lieutenant. Well, are you coming, Jaden? So, what happened? Some guy taking his dog for a piss found a body about 6 o'clock this morning. We don't know much more right now. Based on what we've seen, looks like the work of the origami killer. Do we know the cause of death? There are no marks on the body. Chances are he was drowned. Like the others. Any news on the coroner? He's on his way, Lieutenant. We've been waiting for an hour, for fuck's sake. Has the body been identified? No, not yet. We should know more later today. There are a lot of people on the crime scene. Aren't you afraid your men might destroy some clues? You don't find proof sitting behind a desk. And we're not in the habit of trampling things into the ground, even if we're not in the FBI. No, no, of course not. That's, that's not what I meant. Tony, I don't want to see a single shit-stirring journalist within a mile of here. You got it? Yes, Lieutenant. Any witnesses? None yet. Given the neighborhood, I'd be surprised if anybody saw anything. The case seems to be attracting the attention of the media. Yeah, a greedy pack of vultures. These guys have killed their mothers for a scoop. Some investigation. It's becoming a three-ring circus. Listen, I I'm a little busy here. Why don't we discuss all this a little later, back at the office? Oh, no problem. I understand. Do you mind if I have a look around? Be my guest! Hey, Jaden. You come and see me if you find anything, okay? We're on the same team now.
Harry comment, the victim is lying on his back. No visible signs of violence. His face is covered with mud, like the other victims. An orchid was placed on the victim's chest. A small origami figure in the right hand. Fingers were probably closed after the time of death. The victim is Jeremy Bowles, declared missing five days ago. See reference file. Superficial wound on the right thigh. Blood analysis suggests it could be post-mortem. Probably a scratch that occurred when the body was being moved. The blood report indicates an advanced and long-lasting state of exhaustion. Harry, come in. Orchid pollen detected. Probably from the flower left on the body. Harry comment, traces of blood on the railroad track. Analysis confirms it comes from the victim. Footprints continue just after the pollen trail. There's a good chance that they're the killers. Harry Common, there are traces of blood on the fence behind the railroad line. It comes from the victim. The killer came this way with the body and probably grazed it on his way through the fence. Good chance that they're the killers. Harry, come in. Tire tracks on the side of the road behind the railroad line. It may be the killer's car. I think I've seen all there is to see.
way too many people here. They're trampling all over the crime scene. I seen enough. Better get back to the station before I catch pneumonia. I'm soaking wet. I'm heading back to the office. You staying? No, I've seen enough. I'm leaving too. There's a railroad track near where the body was left. Same as all the other victims. <laughs> 